Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aleydan and we are playing Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. So let's go. Oh, Benjamin. <laughs> Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who helped me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitt turns our man. I'll take you to him. So, we are recruiting, that's nice, that is nice, and the sol soldier, start the mission. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How did you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Charlie. Pitcairn, you fool! Your acts are treacherous! Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> oh, oh. ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal. And you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Okay. That was not nice. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. And as luck would have it, so are they. Come along. <laughs> what are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Tail. Tail, what that means. Tail, follow. Stone Marlborough. No. It's more of Lynn or Ship Street. Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young.
Pacho. Tail. Tail Pacho. Now what? Okay. Oi! You thieves and scoundrels, one and all! Fire on you and your false war! <laughs> After him! <laughs> Follow the ambush, Pancho. Uh, unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. And when you find yourself lying I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. can see what you, oh yeah okay these are replay one on it so perf uh, prevent s snitches from calling reinforcement complete objective bef uh, before finishing the mission which objective okay um, not not so important oh wait 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 What is this? This is zoom in. Um, yeah, so um, I am not in the mood to complete 100%. I don't want to do that actually. I don't want to do that. Too time consuming for my taste, I should say. Vigilantes. What that mean? Vigilantes. Okay. Let's see. No. Mm, go them. A 
If I may, I was curious about your past with Braddock. You two clearly have a history. Edward was one of us upon a time. I considered him a close friend. He was brave and bold in ways few men are. But everything changed at the siege of Bergen op Zoom. We had lost the fortress to the French, and were in the midst of egress. There was a skiff hidden at the port with which we planned to make our escape. As we drew near, a young man and his family came upon us, begging for safe passage. I consented, but Edward refused. The young man called him Craven then. So Edward killed him and all the rest. Even the children. To this day, I don't know why. Was this the first time he'd struck out? Or had I simply never seen it before? Either way, things were never the same after that. We campaigned together a few more times, but each outing was more disturbing than the last. He killed and killed. Enemy or ally, civilian or soldier, guilty or innocent. It mattered not. If he perceived one to be an obstacle, they died. He maintained that violence was a more efficient solution. It became his mantra. And it broke my heart. I had no idea. He hides it well, and intimidates into silence any who discover him. Those who persist have a tendency to find... misfortune. And we should stop him. I suppose you're right. But I maintain a foolish hope that he might yet be saved and brought back round to reason. I know, I know. It's a silly thing to believe that one so drenched in death might suddenly change. I'm sorry to have brought us up. It was not my intent to sour you. Nonsense. We are brothers now. There should be no secrets between us. Any news? Whispers of things. Nothing solid at the moment. I know you're looking for word of anything out of the ordinary. Dealing with temples and spirits and ancient times and whatnot. But, so far, can't say my boys have heard much. No trinkets or artifacts being moved through your... shadow market? Nothing new. A couple of ill-gotten weapons, some jewelry likely lifted from a living thing. But you said to listen for talk. So, a question for you. Why medicine? This business with Silas confuses me. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas' fort, under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then... Let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. Okay. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. The Reverend Julius Foster will be guest preacher this 
Charles, you and Williams serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Engage the enemy! We can't God go in. Dogs. Let no man reach us! Looks like you're to meet the Oh. <laughs> Oops. Fresh On your guard, man. Come here. I of course. Wow, well, they only really... say the word, and I'll cut them down. They're pretty good at their job. Engage the enemy! Come on, go. Continue. 
All clear. Nice. Engage the enemy. They're going to say engage the enemy. Oh. Evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on. Delivery for Silas. See, I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain. Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. So, know when you're ready to strike. find that kill the general, perform the still assassin from uh, a common spot three times, and uh, free captives. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? What, what is this man doing? Uh, okay, three. So now we have to do assassination from three common spots. Greetings. How fares the watch? Who are you? Thomas you're Smith, newly soldier. recruited. Big Arrived from London just last stop, week. In fact. Who are you to tell without? me what to do? A good back. friend of Mr. Thatcher's. Oh, I, I see. My apologies. Take care with your tongue in the future. Certainly, Oi, fellas. Apologies for me tardiness. Carter had me working late. You know Carter? <laughs> well, who do you think got me this post? We're like brothers, me and him. Now, what did Silas want us doing? We're to rough up the prisoners, relieve them of their finery. I hear some of them carry wheels still Or summer, for that matter. Heat and wet. Man. And the uniforms. <laughs> Clearly so in front of climbs. Too thin when it's cold. Too heavy when it's hot.
Ah, damn. How? Yep. That was a disaster. This is not good for my reputation, I, th I think. Not good at all for my reputation. Holy... The game is not... An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess.
Seal the port. Kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? Push them back. Go on, Hicks. We'll hold back the guard while you deal with violence. Men, he's here. Stop the interloper. Kill Benjamin. the intruders. All of them. have you with us. I could use some help. I'll Who are you? Name's Haytham Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Silas. One I intend to keep. <laughs> Why I intend to keep what happens now? We wait. But not for very long, I suspect. Oh, we just ruined everything. It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next, and I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. Boston, 1755. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe, and see you in the next episode. Bye.